Hey guys, this is Roger 12 and we're ready to fight Fontaine after protecting the little girls. We are ready. And we even get a loading screen on the elevator, something that I don't think has ever happened before. And the name of this next area is Fontaine, because we're going straight to him. And we're just gonna stick it in him according to the Tenon Bomb, literally. So, let's do it. Let's let, let it save. Boom, 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 boom. And we're ready for the last area of the game. Or so oh. I remember when me and the crowd put you in that sub. You were no more than two. You were my ace in the hole. But you were also the closest thing I ever had to a son. And that's why this hurts. Betrayal, kid. Life ain't strictly business. Another save? Jeez. Alright. I won't say no. Saving is important, I guess. Is that you up there, buddy? Okay. Okay guys, let me teach you how to play. This is how you play. And this is by far the easiest way to beat the game. Ice now. Hey Fontaine, how are you doing? One more. The thing is, other slicers start coming in, and but they don't really, <laughs> they don't really matter because you're recharging all you have against this guy. So no worries there. Just keep on hitting him. Just focus on him. That's all you really need, honestly. They won't kill you before you kill him. Believe me. They will not. And there you go. That's how you do it. I had you built. I sent you topside. I called you back, showed you what you was, what you was capable of. Even that life you thought you had, that was something I dreamed up. And that tattooed inside your head. Now if you don't call that family, I don't know what it is. Yay! Little girls are helping me. Oh. Yeah! Woo! Little girls! Horribly annihilate that man. Even the cutest thing is horrible if you think about it. Here we are. We're back. Oh, they're giving us the key. city. Oh. We saved all of them. And you refused it. Oh, I refused to keep you instead. What I've come to expect of you. You saved them. You gave them the one thing that was stolen from them. Aww. A chance. A chance to learn. To find love. To live. And in the end, what was your reward? Oh, that's so cute. You never said You're all there. But I think I know. A family. It's cute. Cute little ending. And that's it! Thanks for watching, guys. Well, I'm gonna... I don't know why I'm saying that yet, but thanks for playing, I guess, this game. Greetings from Rapture. Opportunity awaits. Bioshock. Why did you put the title there? I don't get it. 
yeah, that's the game. Easiest boss in history. <laughs> what do you guys think? Did you guys like that? I hope you enjoyed the most anticlimactic way of playing it, but I thought everybody knows how this game goes. Why not show you guys a new way to fight the boss? I thought you guys would enjoy that. Um, but yeah, that was the game. That was the game. I'm proud to say I beat it like this. In front of everyone. Overcoming my initial fear <laughs> of when I first played this game. Obviously, I played it a few times, but never really. I could have just said that. I might have been lying. Uh, but yeah. This was one of the first games I played on this channel. And I'm up to finish the next one that I started three years ago. Two years ago. Half-Life. That game. Been torturing me for two years now. And I'll be honest with you guys. Well, I guess I should talk about a little bit of this. <laughs> Not talk about Half-Life. I'll have a lot of time to talk about that game. But yeah, I don't think there's much left to talk about this game that I haven't already. It's really great. I think, not because of the way I've played it, when I played the boss quote-unquote correctly, because this is a legitimate way of playing the boss too, but uh, it has nothing to do with the story, because you don't find any bosses in the story. You just fight stronger people. No, not even that. People with tactics. They all have their own tactics and abilities, and that is not something that the final boss does, he's just the actual final boss and it doesn't fit in the game. It doesn't fit at all. It takes you out of the game. Because it's different, it is actually a boss and even when even when compared to like the rest of the game, which is it, it, your suspension of disbelief is, it has to be like way, way up there. But even then, with this final boss, it's way higher. <laughs> Because it's crazy, he's just a crazy boy, he does not fit. He really does not fit. And that's something I find very interesting. But the game as a whole, it still comes together. And I like that they're showing you art here. You can see of things that weren't actually in the game. I would, I would have enjoyed seeing some of these in the game. Even though some of them make an appearance in the second game. But uh, I feel that like they had... I, well... I don't know for sure, maybe they, they ran out of space, because this game has a huge file. This game has a huge file. Because I believe back then they didn't, they weren't that good at compressing stuff. But anyway. But if it wasn't for that, they might have left the things they did out for some reason, but they put it in two. So I don't know. Maybe they sh should have made, come up with new stuff and not actually using stuff that they we're going to use in the se in the first game, but didn't. But it's nice to see them live and in the game and not being like a fan thing. It's really interesting to see them. But yeah, this game is still beautiful. Uh, I said it on the first episode, I think. And this game is really beautiful. It looks great. It still lives up. I feel because uh, it looks everything looks very shiny. They look very that shine they have to them make it like a period piece in a way that it never looks old the models never look old the they well they do a little bit but you guys know what i mean they never look like i don't know like a crappy ps1 game looked now that we look back at it and even compared to the games we have today even though it was the same generation and it looks completely different it still lives up to it, to like what it was, in a way that I feel that Infinite does it, because Infinite get this more pastel look to it, and it doesn't, it just doesn't capture it, and it already looks a bit outdated, even though it's beautiful, it's a beautiful, colorful game, and the color palette is amazing, it just doesn't grab the oh i like these i like these they're fun read three of them uh 
I like... I really like the... how this game chose its color and its atmosphere, and I feel that it was a little bit messy, atmosphere-wise, in uh, Infinite. I think the beginning, the middle, is done perfectly, and the end is done perfectly, but somewhere in the middle there, they messed up just a little bit the atmosphere, and it kind of ruins it. Not ruin it, actually, it just like lowers a little bit the bar. So I don't know. Ooh, Atl Atlantic Coast. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Let's see. Oh, that's cute. And even in the end, they do not show faces. Which I think is really cool. Oh, I forgot how pretty this is. This looks really pretty. Oh yeah, they have powers, right? Or is this for Bioshock 2? I haven't seen this before, I think. Or have I? I think I did. Yeah, I did. What else? Yep, this is for Bioshock 2. Way to put an ad on the end of this game! Way to go! Why is there a butterfly there? Hey! No! No! I will not be playing this game! Get away! Get away! By the way, they dropped the Sea of Dreams name. They dropped the Sea of Dreams. Which is interesting. It's an interesting story. If you... Anyway. Hey! Great way to make my viewers want to see number two, but that's not happening. I'm serious. It's not happening. Not that I don't want to. Is that I can't. Oh, let's see this. Welcome to Rapture. What is this? What is this? I forget. Presents new problems for the profession. Oh, that's interesting. I'm not gonna. Well, I have time. Let's go through them. Let's go through them. What is this? What's that? Oh, it's a trailer. I don't want to see a trailer. Dr. Steinman, let's go. presents new problems for the professional. As your tools improve, so to your standards, there was a time I was happy enough to take off a wart or two or turn a real circus freak into something you can show in the daylight, but that was then. With Adam and my scalpel, I have been transformed. With Adam, the flesh becomes clay. What excuse do we have not to sculpt and sculpt and sculpt until the job is done? I want to make them beautiful, but they always turn out wrong! That was too fat! This was too tall! This was too symmetrical! And now, what's this guy? An intruder! He's ugly! 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 Really well made, little... little... Extra. I like it. I really like it how it was shot and everything. Let's see Cassandra that corn. Atlas Ryan. Atlas Ryan. Let them have their squabble. The artist, yes. The artist knows there is richer earth to till. When I am dust, this is what they'll point to. My masterpiece. Go ahead. Be afraid. Touch it. Uh, what's that look? You don't like it, do you? I don't need to be judged by you, by anyone. Screw you! Screw all you fucking doubters! I'm Sander fucking Cohen! I like it. Really well shot. I like these. They're fun. But yeah, I think that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I certainly did. 
it was quite a blast playing through this. And uh, I'll hope to see you guys on the next thing I play. And... Oh, I just think... Downloaded content? What's that? Well, yeah. I just think that what's left for me to do now is uh, say goodbye. So I'll see you guys later.